Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, the Skagley Bones back with another video for you today. And today we are going to be doing a long term review of, as you can see here, the Oakley Jawbreakers. Now, when I say long term review, I'm not talking about years and years since these haven't been out that long. But <clears throat> I have been riding with these for since they came out. And I just kind of wanted to talk to you about them. Uh, in one of my previous videos, you can kind of see all the different glasses where I kind of give an overview of different glasses to use. And I wanted to, over the next few videos, maybe do some reviews of each pair of different sunglasses that I use for road riding. So this, like I said, is the Oakley Jawbreakers. These <clears throat> have been made famous uh, because Mark Cavendish, uh, the world-class uh, sprinter, uh, in the um, in the pros, in pro cycling, he is uh, he was really the one who kind of pioneered these sunglasses. He worked with Oakley to make a glass, um, a pair of um, eye shields and sunglasses that would work really good for road. And also, as you can see here, these are the uh, prism lenses. These are the prism road lenses. Uh, there are a number of different prism lenses uh, from prism road, prism trail. <coughs> You even have some prison deep water and shallow water glasses uh, that are also polarized as well. And of course you have prison baseball and prison golf uh, lenses. Uh, the, the prison road lenses, now with the lighting on them, they're gonna, they don't seem as dark. There, there you can see they're a lot darker when you kind of look off to the side on them. Uh, you can see what it looks like there. What the prism lenses do, and this is kind of one of the things I want to talk about, these prism lenses raise the contrast and lower the brightness. Okay, so when you go outside and it's a really bright day uh, and you put the prism lenses on it, everything doesn't seem dark like they would with standard polarized lenses or just standard uh, standard sunglasses in general. Most sunglasses, they make everything really dark, but they don't really change any contrast. If you know on a TV, if you want to watch this stuff at night, um, and you want it to look really still very vibrant, you raise the contrast, you lower the brightness, and things will still look bright and, and vibrant, but it won't be <laughs> blowing you away. Okay, so, so that's ultimately what you're doing by blocking out your UV rays and blocking a lot of the uh, sun is your, the whole point is to try to lower the brightness. The problem is most shades also lower contrast as well. But uh, these increase contrast and they lower the brightness. So what in effect, in effect that does as well is when it starts to get uh, not so much dark out because stuff is going to be darker at nighttime. Okay, you put these on, it's going to be a little bit harder to see. But <clears throat> in lower, right before sunset, uh, everything is not going to seem super dark on with these. And the other thing is, as well, with the prism lenses, is that um, in overcast, over cloudy situations where it's going to be raining out a lot, you don't have to go and switch to like a high contrast yellow lens. If you notice those high contrast yellow lenses, they don't seem like they darken anything. You put them on, they're raising the contrast. That's the whole point of those lenses. Also, the high contrast blue lenses that you see out there that come in where you buy the sunglasses and they come in three or four different pairs of lenses sets of lenses sorry that's what those high contrast blue and high contrast yellow lenses are for those are raising your contrast um, those those are great but then you have to swap out your lenses now can you swap out lenses on yes yes the whole point isn't to put in those type of lenses it's just so that you can go to a polarized lens if you want a polarized lens or in the case of the fact that maybe I golf and I want to, and I fish. I want to have three or four different lenses without buying new sunglasses, so I can have one set of frames. So that's one of the things I really like about the, um, I like about the Jawbreakers, or any of the, the Oakley sunglasses in general. Now to show you quickly what everything it comes with is, you're going to obviously you're going to get the Oakley case. Uh, one one way you can tell if uh, you're not getting fakes is you're not going to have any tag on it. You're going to have the standard. Uh, Oakley uh, zipper here. It should be kind of a semi-soft hard case. 
should be pretty well built. And then this here, this piece here should be a gunmetal color, not a solid black color. A lot of the fakes, they're gonna have a black color. So they don't get <laughs> hit from Oakley for copying them. Also, you should get um, either, uh, normally you're gonna get a white or a black one of these, but what you're gonna notice that's gonna be different is it's gonna be really heavy and thick. And, and this is gonna be thicker than uh, your normal ones. So I still have that tag on it that says HDD. Uh, but the fact is you're gonna have a separate, a second pouch in case you want a second pair of lenses in here. As you can see, uh, focus is there. I've been using these quite a bit, so I need to launder this soft bag. This is your bag for cleaning as well. Another thing you're gonna get here, one thing you're gonna have on here is you're gonna have a little tag, a little plastic tag that says Prism Road Lens. It's gonna tell you that what type of lens off that just peels off, it's not really a sticker. Then you're gonna have, as you can see there, those are a second pair of nose bombs that are really thick. And uh, one thing too, you're gonna spend, um, for the prism lenses, you're gonna spend $20 more than you are for standard lenses. So if I got, had gotten black iridium, you'd, uh, you typically will spend $20 more than what you would. These will run you uh, right around $200 if you want them without the prism lenses. If you want prism lenses, they're gonna run you $220 for these. Now, I got these on the SI website, so I paid, I believe it was $160 for these, uh, for the Oakleys. Uh, might actually have been less, might have been like $140 for these. So you get quite a bit of discount if you go off for the standard issue. Uh, if you go, if you're in the military or you're a firefighter or you're a, um, in law enforcement of any type, even a lot of the um, security, different security forces, they can uh, get authorization uh, to, if you have any sort of government ID, uh, you can uh, actually register for the SI site and get stuff at a huge discount from Oakley. So a couple of things to look at here with these uh, is that you have adjustable uh, earpieces here. Now. One of the reasons I know that they, they did this, and there's there's talk, it hasn't come out yet, uh, but there is talk that they want to. If you notice the look of these, they look very much like a goggle. And they, weigh, they, they fit, if you look at this a nose piece here, and it's kind of maybe a little easier to see it on this nose piece here as well. Try to get it out for you here. Put that in there. See this little bridge piece? That is a little nose bridge piece. And what that does is it keeps the top of the glasses from touching your brow. And because I kind of have a recessed bridge on my nose, uh, the bridge of my nose sits back farther and, and my brow kind of juts out a little bit. Typically most sunglasses, if I want to keep them high up on my nose, uh, that my my face hits up here and hits the lenses and they get all dirty and yucky okay well the nice thing is with these it doesn't do that even with the and normally I have to use a really thick heavy bridge like kind of the Asian fit type of thing to keep to keep these off my face but with these one of the nice things is even though they are full frame glasses when you have these on you're not going to notice the frames because they're so big like I said, it's almost like a goggle. It's almost like a ski goggle, or a small ski goggle. That's one of the nice things about these. So I keep the regular ones on, and then this keeps, I want this part here, I have this part touching my face, so I don't see any of the frame. But you get really good coverage. You do have some around vents there and everything like this. These are adjustable. I have these out as far as I go, if you notice there. The, there is talk that they want, and they also go in a lot farther, see? You got three adjustable positions. You have the farthest in, uh, in middle position, one that goes all the way out. And you can tell where you're adjusting it to. If you see right there, you have this little, the, you have these little notches here, and you have this uh, the piece here, this, this little piece here, and that tells you exactly where you're putting it at. And then that snaps back in. By the way, you can kind of customize these. You can take all these little parts out. These are kind of push pinned in, so they won't just pop out like your standard ones will. I don't know if you can replace this whole piece here, but I know you can replace these pieces. 
here. Now I don't know if you can change colors or not just yet, but what they want to do is have these so that you actually have a strap here. Uh, one other thing too, change lenses. You're going to, as you can see here, I just took this nose piece, flip it up, takes this metal piece off. I just kind of latch it down and then you can pull the lenses out. Okay. And you can change lenses. Now, one thing I do want to show you, which I really like on these, uh, and I figured it out only because that there's some plastic back behind these, <laughs> these uh, the little Oakley symbol. But if you take these and you kind of rotate them around like that, you can pop that out. And they're like kind of like the jaw bones, except they. And then you take that there, and then you just kind of pop it out. And then, as you can see there, there's tiny little latches, and you could you could just take a small flat head, and pop those out. I don't know if I can do it without. Maybe I can. Maybe I can do it with my fingers. Yeah, maybe I can do it right there. See, and then it pops out. This this piece pops out, and and oops. And then then you can. This piece comes off, and that piece will come off, and then you could just you could change out the different colors. And I'm guessing if you order them, they're going to come in a whole piece, new plastic piece, and you can just get whatever colors you want. If, if when they start changing, is when you they start buying selling them. Now, right now, I don't I don't know if they have them available. Uh, they definitely don't have them available on the SI site, but as you can see there, the whole point is they are kind of customizable, so you could change the color of these, change the color of these as you want, or buy multiple pairs and just kind of change them out as you want. Now, these are going to be there. You have your unobtainium here, rubber, which is pretty uh, hydrophilic rubber, which whenever this gets wet with sweat, they become more sticky. And they'll actually hold on to your face a lot better. They'll grip really well. Uh, these these really stick to your face really well. Then now, like I said, uh, Oakley over the years have used some gimmicky words which kind of throw people off to them. They they call this unobtainium, this plastic here, uh, or sorry, O matter. Their Gorilla Mid TR90, which is what this is. Uh, this is the, it's the same stuff that's used on your Tafosi glasses and on your uh, surface and Rudy and any other uh, sports glasses for that matter. Gorilla Mint TR90, but they use their own term called Omatter and Unobtainium. So, uh, but Oakley, like I said, if you look here, see there's, they're really flexible. You're not going to break these. The thing that is different from these over any other company is their lenses. And shorter going with. Uh, some there's a couple companies that use Carl Zeiss lenses. You're not going to get a better lens than your Oakleys out there, especially for cycling. So and and the like I said, the Prism lenses, their whole design factor behind them was for cycling. Now they've uh, they've customized them for other sports, but their main purpose is for cycling. These are uh, phenomenal lenses, by the way. So like I said, when I ride, I've had some rides. Uh, I'm in Guam. I live in Guam, and it rains a lot out here. Come the wintry months, kind of uh, September, October, November, and December, it's raining on and off all the time. So it gets dark, gets light out, gets dark out, gets light out, um, and it's nice uh, without having a phototech lens. I mean, you can have a phototech lens, but these work a lot better for you. Okay, so. I'm going to put these back in. The nice thing is with these, they're very easy to clean. As you can see, you can fully take these apart. Um, pop them back in. Oops. Just like so. And you got to twist them. It feels like they're going to break, but like I said, it's the Gorilla Mint TR90. You ain't going to break them. Just like that. And they're not going to pop, pop in place. They're just going to just gonna kind of sit in there 
just like so. And then put your lenses back. Now with these, I always start from the top. Kind of seems like you'd want to start from the bottom, but you have kind of a ledge in here. If you don't, and you don't have to, unlike a lot of your others, like your radars and your M2s and stuff, you kind of have to start. You kind of have to bend the frame around. These you don't really need to bend the frame around. You put them in like that. Kind of push these up. Make sure the bottom jaw portion is in and around the glasses. Like so. Pop the nose piece out. Up. And that's why when I have it, um, when I pop it down, I pop the nose piece back just so this piece is out of the way and you're not scratching your lens. Pop it back up. Put it up there. And then just snap it down. And then this is latched. Make sure this is over the top of it. And of course, you're going to want to take and clean your lenses then afterward. Make sure you use the cloth. Now, I recommend getting one of the, the cleaning kits. Uh, they're about, oh, what, $15 through the regular store. Uh, through the SI store, you can get them for like $8, bucks, $7, $8. And it comes with a little uh, uh, screwdriver to adjust your glasses and everything like that. And it comes with a cleaning bottle. If you take it in any the, the cleaning bottle, it's a spray bottle. If you take it in any store, Oakley store, they'll refill fill it for free. So it's kind of a nice thing. Ew. Um, so, like I said, Oakley Jawbreakers, awesome, awesome glasses. Absolutely recommend them to everybody. And one last thing. Give me one second. I'm going to put them on and you can see what they look like with them on here. Okay, there we go. This is what they look like on. And uh, by the way, yes, I'm in my bathroom. About the only spot I could get to be quiet. But that's what they're going to look like on. Uh, as you can see, you get full coverage everywhere. They come up above your eyebrows. And uh, they fully cover your face, almost like a goggle. They come all the way down here, all the way, cover uh, right here to your nose. Plenty of place here. Now, if I was to use these other nose bombs, these would actually stick out a little bit farther away from my face, and then I would actually see the bottom of my peripheral. And I kind of don't like that, so like I said, I kind of I use the other ones. I keep them back but my forehead never once touches the top. Sorry about the camera work, I'm not used to uh, pointing the camera at myself. So, folks, that's it for me today. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video, like this review of these uh, Oakley Jawbreakers. Hopefully I can bring you some more views of some Tifosi glasses and some Surface glasses as well. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down the below. Hit the like button as well and make sure you share this with your friends. And keep riding out there folks. Have a good day. This is Skaggy Bones out.